What's up guys? This is Mateo from iQuitSmoking.com. It is June 20th of 2018 and I hope you're all having a good day and that you're all non-smokers. Someone left me a comment recently that I should make a video and talk about the sickness that you get after you quit smoking and not just the withdrawal but the sickness that you get. But that always isn't the case that you get sick after you quit. However, if you've been smoking for 20, 30, 40 years, your immune system is shot. So when you quit smoking, um, there is a very high possibility that you will get sick, that you will catch a cold very, very easily because you're very susceptible to stuff like that when your immune system is crap. When I quit smoking that first time cold turkey back in the day, that first major time, my body basically shut down completely and I became very uh, bloated, like 24 hours a day. I became very uh, short of breath all the time and I needed an inhaler. This was back in the uh, Primatine Mist days, if any of you recall that. They took that off the market and that is a shame for those of you who have asthma. But back in the day, uh, you could buy Primatine Mist over the counter and that's what I used to overcome the shortness of breath and the extreme bloating in my stomach. When they took that off the market and I was still a smoker relapsing over and over, um, it was torture. I was just miserable the entire time because I couldn't get rid of my shortness of breath and I couldn't get rid of the extreme bloat in my stomach. And so I just had to suffer through it days upon days and days end. But I want to say something and I just want to uh, tell it like it is a little bit. And I think that a little bit of this is geographical and it's where you live. When I quit smoking cold turkey back in the day, I lived in Portland, Oregon, and that is a very uh, dry climate. And so I was more susceptible to asthma and cold weather and cold induced asthma and things like that. And plus it rains there a lot and when the weather is really crappy and people are congregated together more because the weather is so crappy, you are going to be more susceptible to getting sick right off the bat just because there's so many people crowded in bars, crowded on streets, crowded underneath umbrellas, whatever. If the weather is crappy, you're going to get sick more often. That's just my experience in my life. When I moved to Florida and I switched to vaping this last time that I quit, I didn't get sick. I went through the withdrawal of the um, additives in cigarettes. You have to go through with the withdrawal of that. But because the weather is relatively nice all year round, it's not all the time, but most of the time, um, I didn't get sick because it was sunny out and people are spread out. And so I'm less susceptible to getting sick here. And in fact, ever since I've moved here, I have not gotten the flu once. So I think it kind of matters, you know, where you live if you're going to get sick or not when you quit smoking. If you live in a really crappy climate, yeah, you're probably going to catch a cold right off the bat. If you live in the Bahamas, <laughs> you probably won't get sick. You know, if you live in San Diego <laughs> where the weather is perfect all year round, you're probably not going to get sick. You're probably going to be more well off than someone who lives in northern Minnesota. But that bloating when you quit smoking is no joke and I can I know from firsthand experience that it is a pretty terrible thing to just have your stomach distended for all day long for days on end and you just that creates this uh, pressure in your lungs and you uh, are short of breath all the time and you're just like <sighs> and you like you need an inhaler and, and your body is just shutting down and this is all because of smoking and it's just it's such a shame that you have to go through such torture when you quit and it's really a shame that once the bloat stops and you become better at breathing the first thing that pops into your head is ooh I should smoke a cigarette. Unfortunately, I did that many, many, many times. I must have gone through about 12 or 13 uh, primatine mist inhalers over the course of my cold turkey experience. And sometimes I would be so stupid that I would want a cigarette so bad and I was having shortness of breath, so I would use the inhaler to clear out my lungs so I could smoke a cigarette. How stupid is that? I've done that hundreds of times and I've talked to other people too and they've done the same. The process of quitting smoking is just so torturous and I'm so glad that I am over all that crap. Oh my God. I don't wish it on anyone. The inhalers and the late nights being unable to breathe and the coughing up phlegm and the dirty habit and the ashtrays and the cost and the smell. It's just a disgusting, filthy habit. The smell doesn't really bother me as much anymore as it used to, but I would never, 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 ever, ever want to go back to smoking. If you're watching this video right now and you are on day one or day two or day three or day four, all I can say to you, and you feel like crap and you're miserable and life sucks and just everything is coming at you at one time, just 
be assured that it is going to get better and that you will get past it. You just have to make it through. Just don't relapse. Just don't let your mind think, you know, like, oh, I can't breathe, so I'm going to buy this inhaler so I can clear out my lungs so I can smoke a cigarette. That is not what your body wants. Your, your addiction might want that, but your body is rejecting all of that and shutting down and telling you, no, you are not supposed to be a smoker. I'm actually trying to uh, not quit drinking entirely, but cut back my drinking like 90% right now. Because I remember um, last year, um, around the end of January or so, I quit drinking for like 15 weeks and I felt absolutely amazing that whole time. And I was so productive and so just genuinely alive and happy that I missed that. And right now, even though I don't consider myself that heavy of a drinker, it's impeding my life that much that I'm you know, waking up late and I'm just being lazy and I'm not being as productive as I should be or want to be at this stage in my life. So last night I didn't drink and I tossed and turned in bed all night. I mean, I got a terrible night's rest. My back hurt. I was just waking up every half an hour looking at the clock. I mean, it wasn't you know, a good night's rest with lots of REM. No, it was pretty bad. But I know that the further that I go, the better that life gets. And in a couple days, I'm going to be just jumping out of bed at 7 in the morning and making breakfast and juicing and doing all these things that I want to do because I have the energy to do it now. Plus, when you aren't drinking, you're less likely to get sick because when you drink a lot day after day, not that I drank a lot, but when you, even if you have a few drinks a day, you are lowering your immune system and therefore you are more susceptible to getting sick versus someone who doesn't drink and is, uh, drinking juice all day and you know being healthy so yeah that's where I'm at in my life I mean I feel pretty amazing otherwise I mean I'm out here and it's 9 in the morning on my day off I couldn't be that this is my car right here so I'm all alone in this huge park at Fort DeSoto I couldn't be more happy with the way things are going I just want to you know be even happier and feel even better and so I'm just gonna quit drinking for a little while and take a break but yeah, back to the sickness. Um, if yeah, if you've been smoking 20, 30, 40 years and you quit cold turkey or you, you know, live in a really crappy climate where it's cold and it's dry and everyone congregates together, yeah, you probably will get sick. You probably will get sick. But that's not necessarily the case because when I moved to Florida and I switched to vaping, I didn't get sick. I thought it was the best thing ever and that's why I'm such a advocate of vaping is because it makes you feel, it, it allows you to quit smoking, and, but it allows you to keep you know, the habit until you whittle down from there. And I didn't get sick. I felt good the whole time, day after day. Each day that went forward, I felt better and better and better. But if you do get sick and you live in one of those climates or whatever, um, what can I say? You've been smoking for 20 or 30 or 40 years and harming yourself with something that you absolutely don't need at all and burning your lungs and burning your cilia and substituting cigarettes for food. And, you know, you can't be like, well, I don't deserve to get sick. Uh, well, your body is saying otherwise. <laughs> I mean, I hate to break it to you, but you did this to yourself. I did this to myself. I got sick plenty of times when I quit smoking. And I deserved it because I was chain smoking. I was using an inhaler to clear out my lungs so I could smoke another cigarette. I mean, when you think about it like that, I absolutely deserve to get sick because how dare I do something so stupid like using an inhaler to clear out lungs so you can smoke more cigarettes. I mean, that is just absolutely ridiculous. And yes, I did deserve to get sick. Sorry to break it to you, but that's just the way it is. We're all in this boat together. And if you're constantly chain smoking and constantly being unhealthy, your body is going to reject all that and make you sick. And you can't be like, oh, I don't deserve it. Quitting smoking is such a horrible experience. That's because you're a chain smoker. You're harming your body. <laughs> We all deserve it. We all did this to ourselves. Smoking is not something that you need at all. So therefore, that's just our body's natural reaction to get rid of all that stupid toxic toxic smoke. So if you get sick, yeah, that sucks, but you got to pull through it. You got to just move forward. It's going to get better. Trust me. It's been two and a half years since I've smoked and it is the furthest thing from my mind and I don't get sick and I don't, I don't even get the flu. I don't get anything. And if you quit smoking and you never get sick, well, that's a win-win for you and congratulations because it doesn't happen to everyone and I think a little bit has to do with where you live, honestly. Yeah, so that's it for today. Hope you all have an awesome rest of the day. Sorry to be uh, blunt about a few things, but you know that's just the way it is because uh, you smoking is a choice. You smoked, I smoked, that was a choice for me. So I got sick along, you know, many, many, many times. It's my fault, it's your fault, and together we can push forward, move forward, and feel amazing together. And I will see you on the other side Take care.